if you walk up to, to Full Circle Fields, it looks like a standard gas station, and that's actually kind of the idea, is we wanted to sort of have all the same types of things that a gas station has, but the alternative version of it. And so we have fuel at the retail pumps. Um, so just like any other gas station, there's a canopy out front, and there's uh, two different pumps at our canopy right now. Um, and what we sell is biodiesel um, blended with diesel fuel. And the other pump is a straight vegetable oil pump that just sells straight vegetable oil. Now the straight vegetable oil that we sell is waste grease that has been thrown away by restaurants. That's right, the same vegetable oil that's been used to fry your french fries at a pump for your car. And within the shop, you'll discover how this is possible. We have a two-bay garage. It's a functional garage that we do conventional auto repair, actually anything other than paint, uh, body, and tires. And in addition to that, uh, we do straight vegetable oil conversions, which is where we modify diesel vehicles to run on vegetable oil. And so when we're done with a vehicle, it still has a diesel fuel system and can still run off of diesel or biodiesel, just like any diesel uh, vehicle that's on the road. But in addition to that, we also have this heated fuel system that whenever you have vegetable oil in the system and your engine's at normal operating temperature, you can run off of that system as well. But what is it about vegetable oil that makes it a viable fuel? To understand its possibilities as a fuel, you must first understand its problems. There's a number of different ways to use vegetable oil in a diesel engine. They all kind of work, and they're all designed for different applications. So uh, biodiesel, straight vegetable oil are sort of the ways that people use um, vegetable oil in diesel engines. It's all based off of the same uh, problem. <laughs> and this problem is pretty simple, but it's that vegetable oil is very thick. Um, it's way too thick to just dump right into your diesel car. In biodiesel, what happens is a chemical process. And so you're going through a chemical reaction to actually modify the vegetable oil so that it's more similar to diesel fuel, which just really means that it's thinner, so that you can put it right into a diesel engine, and that's that. Or, instead of modifying the vegetable oil, full circle fuels can change your vehicle to work with it as it is. What we're doing is we're building a system on board that heats the fuel. Very, very cold vegetable oil is very thick. Very hot vegetable oil is very thin. And so all we're doing is a similar process in the car, but we're saying that, hey, if we can get vegetable oil warm enough, you don't have to chemically modify it at all. It can be injected straight into a diesel engine. So this is a diesel BMW that's from 1985 and that was just produced as a diesel car and that we've installed a system on it so that it can burn vegetable oil in addition to diesel fuel. Um, the whole diesel system is still intact on this car. You still have your standard fuel door um, that you can open up at any gas station anywhere in the country and open up the same cap that you always interact with. In addition, there's a vegetable oil system on this car. And so we usually install the tanks in the trunk. That's only a 12 gallon tank in there. Um, functionally, it's probably like 10 or 11 gallons. But that's the vegetable oil tank. That's where you put the vegetable oil into this vehicle. So this is the engine, and we've installed a few things in the engine compartment that are part of our system. And what they are mainly that you interact with commonly is the fuel filter, and then a switching valve, so that when you actually are driving the vehicle, you can control from a simple switch on the dashboard what fuel is being injected into your motor. When you get in your car and start it up, um, you can see this red light means that you're on diesel fuel. Once you warm up and switch over, uh, it goes green for you, and you can actually watch the fuel gauge Right now there's a little more than a quarter tank of vegetable oil in it. When you go back to diesel fuel, um, you can see there's close to a full tank of diesel fuel in it. Um, so this is the sort of inside, and that, it's that easy. As you're driving down the road, once you watch your thermostat on your vehicle, once it gets to normal operating temperature, you just reach down, flip that switch, run off of the vegetable oil, and you can run off for the duration of your trip. We've been running our 190 Mercedes for three years now on uh, dual fuel with uh, diesel and then used vegetable oil, so, and it works. This summer I did several trips to the Chicago area, uh, you know, all but 40 minutes on vegetable oil, and, uh, and I just did a trip down to Virginia Beach where out of the total mileage, I drove 1,400 miles, I did 1,250 on Greece, and then the idea of not using fossil fuel I'm very much into that, and especially using a waste product, used vegetable oil, that it's already been through its life cycle of, of usefulness. Most of the time, this stuff gets thrown out, you know, in the back fields and stuff. Sometimes it gets rendered in rendering plants, or sometimes it gets thrown down into the sewer and everything, and, uh, and it's just nice to use it. And there are also some pleasant side effects of running on recycled food oil. 
when you're running off of vegetable oil, it's, it's pretty cool. You have the same horsepower, the same performance, the same fuel economy as you do when you're running on diesel fuel. Um, the only thing you actually notice differently, the exhaust smells a little different. Um, and sometimes that's actually pretty pleasant, but you'll actually get uh, an exhaust smell that is reminiscent of whatever food was cooked in that vegetable oil. Sometimes that's a wonderful thing and sometimes it's not, if you get like fish fry oil or stuff like that. The other real benefit to straight vegetable oil is uh, there's generally a very strong economic incentive. Up until very recently, restaurants were paying to have this vegetable oil removed. And so you'd literally be able to walk into restaurants where they were paying to have it removed and say, hey, I'm willing to take this for free, which was a big uh, part of the sort of um, drive that helped people get excited about straight vegetable oil as a fuel. To me, the really impressive thing about straight vegetable oil biodiesel is that these are technologies that can be used today to displace use of petroleum products. And that's, that's what sort of got me excited about it. That's 100% petroleum free, it's a clean burning domestic renewable fuel, and that's really exciting. And it's exciting that we can take someone's vehicle, um, we can modify it tomorrow, and the day after, they can be running on straight vegetable oil.